Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am actually going to be filming another eBay rant. So right now, like I'm recording with my iPhone X. Um, I just wanted to see like how the video quality was and everything because I never really record on my iPhone X. I'm trying out this app and I'm actually recording through the app and I don't know, the audio quality sucks, but um, I'm trying my best to kind of like adapt to it and it's just not working for me and then i'm trying to get this stand to cooperate with my phone and it just acts like it doesn't want to stay in that's why i keep doing this as well but i have this microphone on just to see if that actually will help a little bit as far as with the sound quality um i don't even know if it's working i don't know if i have to use the app for it or not i'm just i'm not even sure but Anyways, so I paused the video just to see if the microphone was working and the microphone is working perfectly It's actually amazing sound quality sounds awesome So hopefully it'll do the same thing when I'm editing well not do the same thing But kind of sound the same anyway So today's video is basically the same thing that I did the last time I had an eBay rant I am basically talking about how I posted items for sale on eBay and yet again I'm still getting people that are scammers constantly messaging me about um, what I'm selling so unfortunately I am actually selling the iPhone that I'm recording with right now because I'm trying to do the Dave Ramsey plan and I'm trying to do more to um, basically be able to afford right now um, I've got a lot of circumstances going on and I also um, just need the extra cash to just throw towards my debt and everything and I'm just trying to be debt free from August. I will get into that in another vi video. Um, I'm actually getting ready to attend a Financial Peace University class coming soon. So I will let you guys know how that goes as well because I probably will be vlogging that maybe. Um, I don't know, I kinda wanna get back into doing that as well. But anyways, so I'm selling my iPhone that I'm recording with right now. It's an iPhone X. It's a 256 gigabyte um, silver iPhone. Um, it's in great working condition. The only problems I would say would probably be the scratches that come from uh, me just putting it in my pocket and having my rings on and it probably scratched the screen. But I applied liquid glass onto the screen so that's perfectly fine. The system is great. Nothing is wrong with it internally. And I'm also trying to sell my um, iPad. It's one of the new iPads, iPad Pro. Um, and it's a 9.7 inch. It's uh, a Gen 5 or Gen 6. I can't remember. I really can't. Um, I have to get into the specs later. But... Uh, Okay, so I actually have the box right here, forgot. So it's the iPad 32 gigabyte, um, gigabit, whatever you wanna call it, sixth generation Wi-Fi and cellular. I got both of these um, Apple products through Verizon and I was just trying to sell because my Verizon bill is way too high. I'm trying to get away from Verizon and I wanna go back to either Straight Talk or a Walmart um, brand uh not walmart brand but walmart um associated cellular plan and just just right now until i can get on my feet and do what i need to do so um anyways so i am currently i'm still logged on to my ebay account and i still have everything kind of linked together with my apple um so i was actually on ebay so i i was post i posted it on ebay i posted it on mercari and I posted it on Facebook and let go, I believe. <clears throat> and I posted it on all these different sites. But eBay, for some reason, I've never sold anything on eBay. But every time I go to try and sell something on eBay, it never works out. I don't know why. I always get people that are scammers. I don't know. I, they just, I guess they're attracted to my new account. I don't know. I never really used it. I never sold anything other than or tried to sell anything other than electronics i still have my freaking xbox 360 that i tried to sell on ebay and it still hasn't gone anywhere i'm thinking to just take it to gamestop and just because it's literally collecting gu gust i swear i cannot talk today it's literally collecting dust as we speak right now like well i did dusting as you can see you can see the little spraying right there but it's collecting more dust as we speak guys so, 
Um, I posted the iPhone on um, eBay and unfortunately I can't post my iPad on there because I have a limit so that I can sell on there and I'm already selling the iPhone X for $800 on there. I wanted to sell it originally for um, $450, um, $550 because that's basically where or how much um, different carriers are selling there uh, or getting buying iPhones X's right now for so I basically just decided that I was gonna sell it for 800 because when I posted it everybody was like well you can get more than that especially if you put liquid glass on it and it's basically fine fine nothing's wrong with it so I decided to post it on eBay and posted it for 800 so of course I get all these offers I get a whole bunch of offers on the iPhone but but the offers are really bogus so um and they're from a lot of accounts so I'm gonna re go over if you hadn't watched my first eBay rant I probably will link it in the description below as well as post it at the end of the video I will recommend you guys look at that video um, actually some weird stuff happened in the video I was in the room and I was filming and it was a knock you, you just gotta look at the video okay just look at the video active user and that's something else that you need to look for to make sure that the um, user is active and to see their ratings to see if they got any sales or if they sold anything or how long they've had the account the most important thing that I would look for is how long they had the account I literally had someone um, this morning which I'll get into that in a second, but um, this person they wanted to sell, they wanted to buy it for four eighty nine. I looked on their page; they were legit. They have been active since um, I want to say two thousand twelve. Um, however, um, that's too low for me and I don't think I would be able to accept that type of offer because I know I could probably get a little bit more for that um, and uh, but I did look on his page and his page was legit he had a lot of ratings within like and you want to make sure the the account is active and the account has been used within the last 12 months um, because I had had a lot of people who actually did have um, accounts but they weren't active for like a year like there was one account that was open since 2000 or 2002 and they hadn't used the account in a year or really in a few years um and i believe like i'm not saying that all of those people are scammers the ones that haven't used their account since 2012 however um it's just more trustworthy if you know that they use that account and that they're not either a they if they haven't used that account since 2002 or any time within the last two to five years um that's i mean really that's too long to be honest two to five years but if they haven't used that account in a while then they want to make sure that the accounts aren't hacked um and no one is actually using the account under false circumstances um, but I just I had offers from like 850 985 99 I even had people offer me a thousand dollars for the phone and I'm just like guys if I'm posting it for eight hundred dollars like okay I might have been gullible with that Xbox 360 of like getting a little bit more than I offered but I'm just like look I literally posted this for 800 and you're offering me 200 more dollars for this and like a lot of the excuses sound the same well not excuses but a lot of the offers sound the same like hey can you hit me up on the whatsapp you know the number and they give me a number can you hit me up on my email you know and you do not want to generate any type of transactions straying away from the ebay site period you do not want to do that it is definitely not recommended because it is just so unsafe so sketchy um and then some of the offers even got revoked so um like the thousand dollars one and one of them i actually declined the other one was actually revo revoked because it's saying that um the person is actually 
uh, using a fraudulent account or they open this account for fraudulent reasons. Um, and I don't know. So I guess another takeaway would be uh, to basically just make sure that you are comfortable with selling the person, whoever it is, the, the item. And you don't generate transactions outside of um, eBay. You don't message them on their accounts. You don't message them um, through their email. You don't want to reach out to them any other way through eBay because eBay is not gonna be able to track someone who is trying to ask, um, like, for example, somebody was saying, okay, well, my goddaughter wanted me to buy this for her and she approves of it. Um, how much are you taking it for? And it's like they would message me asking about details about my phone and how much I was asking for it. And I'm just like, dude, I literally, I'm like, did you just not look at the description or like what is going on? And then um, another one was, hey, um, I'm, I need you to message me on this number because due to um, my job or uh, my resources or whatever, they said something along the lines of that. I'm not able to be on eBay, so can you do this? And I'm just sitting here like, okay, if you're not able to be on eBay, how are you messaging me right now just to say, hey, can I buy this phone? And how are you sitting here um, expecting me to just message you on your phone if you have a job that you can't even be on ebay i doubt you are not going to be able to be on your phone either you know what i'm saying it's just a lot of different um situations you just have to really really pay attention and kind of pay attention to detail and just look at the sketchy things like if they're offering you their phone number and their contact information just so freely um, that's a red flag if they're saying that it's a gift for someone else that's a red flag because I feel like that is very very fraudulent like if it's a gift for someone else you would just say hey how much are you charging you wouldn't go into the details of what you're getting the gift for like I don't care what you're getting the gift for like and I'm not even trying to say say it like I'm being rude but it's like I don't care if you're buying it for your niece or nephew or your goddaughter or whoever it's a, it's just a transaction you know what I'm saying you don't know me I don't even know you you know what I'm saying and I'm not even trying to be rude like I said but um you just have to be very careful when it comes to um, dealing with people and selling things on the internet you really really do because people are so mean nowadays they don't care about you they don't care about your circumstances that you're trying to you know sell some things to make some money they don't care about that so just please 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 make sure that you are aware of these things but that's basically it for this video um if you liked it make sure you give me a thumbs up make sure you like and subscribe um i know i haven't really been posting in a while but i just said let me do this updated video updated ebay rant um and just to kind of promote that i am trying to sell my phone and my ipad if you guys ever see this video and hopefully um you guys will look at it within this time frame so that you can check it out on ebay but yeah um i can link all that stuff down below if you're interested as well but just be mindful guys all right guys i will see y'all later bye